Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to make just a basic AoE. Like, I know I did the AoE healing move, but this will just be how to just generally make just a general AoE. So, well, first we're going to start off. We're just going to actually add a couple dummies. Uh, over here, I guess. Actually, no, I guess we can just use these dummies why not uh, I'll change this guy's name to I don't know Charlie Ch Cheryl and this guy's name to Jeff cuz why not uh, I'm just typing the first names that pop to my head Oh, no more names are popping to my head. So, well, this guy will just be called Dummy. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, the reason we did that is just so I can show the AOE. I'm just gonna have a print thing, just print their names, just so we knew. Uh, now, what is this script? That can be gone away. That can actually be deleted. So, we're gonna go to the starter, and we're, well, starter pack, <laughs> and insert a local script. This will just be called AoE test. Now we're just gonna do, hmm, what do I need? Well, the RS, it goes in, service, okay, storage, local, event equals RS. For child AOE test event. Why not? Now we need local user user input service. Equals <laughs> game get service user input service and local the bounce equals false. Now use input service. Uh, input begin colon connect function input if input dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot uh, for tests we'll just do uh, oh, keys haven't I used yet uh, we'll use left control then the balance equals equals false. Oops. Then the balance equals true. Wait, we'll just do. Uh, I just always do five seconds. And then the balance equals false. And now we'll just do event fire server. So basically, it's just when you click left control, uh, it's just gonna. It's just a simple when you click left control, it fires the AoE test event within or like yeah and you can only fire it once per five seconds so <clears throat> now if we go to starter the server script service <laughs> that's what we that's what it's named add a script and the script will just be called AO, aoe test gonna get the replicated storage again and make a new remote event inside the replicated storage event.name equals what was it called uh, I can always just get it here AOE test event equals AOE test event event dot on server event colon connect function player So basically, whenever you click left control, it's going to fire this function. And we want our character, so we're going to do game.workspace, called name for child, player.name. Uh, what else do we need? 
Oh, we'll just get our humanoid root part equals character dot humanoid root part. <coughs> and I'm just gonna make the um the basic AOE effect, I guess. Just you know, um. We'll we'll just do local effect. I'll show you what I mean. It goes instance dot new part. We'll just put it inside the character because I always do for some reason. Even though it's probably bad practice. You probably shouldn't put parts and stuff inside your character, other than like values and stuff, but eh, it's kinda whatever. It's just kinda what I do. Um a lot of people do a debris folder in the workspace and put stuff in that folder like any debris they put in that folder um, alright so our effect dot anchor equals true effect dot shape equals cylinder Effect dot. Hmm. We don't need the material. We don't. Oh, uh, we'll just make the material equal smooth plastic. In effect, what else? Dot. Shape material. Uh, I guess. Brick color. I don't. We'll just make a red, just so it's easy to see. Uh, so that would be two five five zero zero. Uh, actually, no. This is a brick color, so we'd actually just put really, really red. Yeah, I'm just derping a bit. <laughs> you would not put a RGB value. You would actually just put a brick color because it's a brick color. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Effect dot not shape size equals vector three dot new. Uh, so since it's a cylinder and it's going to be rotated, it's going to be this is going to be our new y value. And I don't like how Roblox has y and z mixed up, but it's whatever. Um, anyways, so we're just going to make everything. Hmm. Maybe this will make one, just so it's easier to see as well. Equals humor part dot C frame. Oops. And before we do the effect, we're actually going to do. A body velocity inside the humanoid root part. And it's going, to, and the max force is just going to be infinite. Because I always make it infinite. And BB dot velocity equals human root part dot C frame dot look vector times zero. Um, and we're just gonna remove that after pff, know, three seconds, I guess, because why not? Uh, so basically what we have so far is a body velocity that just stops our character from moving when we le uh, <laughs> left control. And then we have a effect that is going to spawn wrong right now. It's going to spawn sideways. So to fix that, what we do is effect up orientation equals vector three. Actually equals effect up orientation plus 
Vectors 3.new. And I think it's... Is it 90, zero, zero, or is it zero, 09? Let me try this. Let's just actually make these bigger so we can see it. Um, I'm just gonna test it really quick. Nope, that's not it. Uh, okay. Let's try this. All just testing. We also gotta make it a. I also forgot to make effect dot can collide equals false. Yeah, I thought it was this one. there we go that's what we wanted we wanted a little AOE effect kind of like this so it's just gonna spawn like that and to fix it so it's not on our character we're actually going to add a weight this should fix it so even if we're walking eh. What happens if I just... Okay, so... Wait, point one maybe? I just want to make it so it, uh, even if we're walking... Eh, that can, that's kind of better. Not as better, but maybe, maybe a weight of point two. That's definitely better. Um, yeah, we'll just wait point two for now just so it's whatever Put these back to point one Now for a little bit of fun ish not really um, Let's add a variable up here called local tween service equals game get service tween service all right Local ti for tween info equals tween info dot new. Uh, we're gonna make it like maybe take two seconds. Enum dot easing style dot linear because linear, but you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm just showing you the basics of how to make uh, an area of effect script ish. <laughs> And we're not even at that part yet. Anyways, now enum dot dot easing direction. Oop. Dot uh, out. And then zero false zero. Local properties equals a new table. <clears throat> inside this table we make our properties and the only property we need is size equals vector 3 dot new and then one <laughs> excuse me one and then because that's kind of how I guess tall our AOE is but you can make it point one or even I'm pretty sure you can make it even like point oh five but anyways we're just gonna make it one and now for how big we want it I guess we'll make it just 15 a decent size at AOE and that's it and if you're going to do anything else any other effects like if you wanted the transparency then you would add a comma oops drop a line and then do transparency 
Trasen <laughs> Transparency equals one. So basically it's gonna tween from whatever the size is to uh, this to our new size so it's gonna make it small and then it's gonna go out to 15 and it's also gonna make it fully transparent now we need to add local tween equals tween service colon create effect ti properties tween colon play um that's basically all we need now we can just do wait to effect colon destroy and I'll just get rid of the effect so basically we have the effect now now we just need um, the AOE part so you know it actually whatever touches the AOE part uh, gets affected by it so to do that it's per is simple you would just go to your uh, script the actual script, not not the um, starter pack script, the actual server script, and then insert a script inside of that, and just name it. I don't know. We'll just call it. Uh, well, it's not going to be damage, so you can call it whatever you want, like damage or hit. Um, but basically, this is just the AOE part, like whatever happens once it touches. So. I'm just going to call it effect, and the effect is just going to be, um, actually no, I'll just call it damage, I'll just call it damage, whatever, it doesn't really matter, uh, now you want to actually disable this script, and now the fun part, so it's actually pretty basic, so I'm not sure if there's a more proper way to do this. But this is kind of how I do this. <laughs> so what I do is I do script.parent.touched colon connect function hit. Uh, now if hit.parent colon find first child humanoid then so if it finds a humanoid or a player basically then if hit dot parent find first child so if it finds um hmm we'll just call this is hit then return end <laughs> so if it finds anything in your player called is hit then it will return end and you can change this to um, so this would be in that AOE part which would be inside our character so you could also do if hit dot parent find first child script dot parent dot parent because um, this script we're going to clone inside the AOE part and the AOE part is inside our character so the script dot parent dot parent is our character so if hit dot parent find first child script dot parent dot parent dot name dot dot is hit so if it finds first child whatever your um, name is and then is hit then it's just gonna return end else it's just going to make a new value local is hit equals instance dot new I usually just use bool values and you want to put it in the hit dot parent
um, is hit dot name equals script dot parent dot parent dot name dot dot you need the dot dots and then is hit so if it finds your player's name is hit then it will not like do anything so basically it's just a debounce uh, otherwise it will add or otherwise it'll do whatever um, like it'll damage or you know do whatever you want it to do but you need this these two lines here so it'll add the is hit value inside the player and the name can kind of really be whatever you want it to be uh, if you want to make it easier for yourself you can just name it whatever you want um, but yeah this is pretty much it so when it finds so yeah, if it finds the is hit value then it'll do nothing else it'll add the is hit value and then I'll just We'll just print hit dot parent dot name. And you actually, I forgot one more thing. You actually want to do game dot debris colon add item is hit. And then however long you want the debounce for the AOE to last. So if you want someone to be hit for like 3 seconds, or if you want them to only be hit for like 0.2 seconds, put it to whatever you want. But I'm going to put it to 3 seconds. And yeah, that's basically it. So now what we would do is we would not go here. We can close that script. We would go back to this script, the actual script. Go up here, underneath our character. Uh, yeah, let's just do it underneath our character and do local damage equals script dot damage colon clone and right here underneath the orientation right after all your effects and stuff uh, you would do damage dot parent equals effect and damage dot disabled equals false and that's literally it um now i actually want to go here and check are these guys humanoids or not because it'll oh, this will only work if they're humanoids okay so they are humanoids uh this will work only work if their name yeah if their humanoid is named humanoid otherwise you'll have to change it to uh whatever the humanoid's name is like i said this is just kind of a basic example of how all this works um, so if I go to test, hit play, boop, 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 boop. stand in the middle here, so when I click left control, theoretically it should print all of these guys' names. So we got myself, we got Peter, we got Jeff, Charlie, and the dummy. Now if you don't want it to affect you. Uh, there's what you could do here is if hit dot parent equals equals script dot parent dot parent then return end so basically if it finds yourself then it'll do nothing Now let's try this again, and it will should just print these four guys' names. And there we go. We got Jeff, Peter, Charlie, and Dummy. And as you can see, it only printed it once. So, like, it's not spamming it. It's only lasting. It only. It, it, it's only spamming it. Uh, well, it only does it once for however long you made the debounce last. But yeah, if this video was helpful in any way, just leave a like. <laughs>
I, I guess. I just want likes. I like likes. I like being liked. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out.